Have you ever watched a survivalist strike a small metal rod, sending out a burst of glowing sparks? That's ferrocarium in action, one of the most fascinating fire-starting materials ever invented. But what exactly is it, and why does it produce such intense sparks? This fire-starting material owes its existence to Karl Auer von Welsbach, an Austrian scientist who, in 1903, discovered that certain metals ignite spontaneously when exposed to air. His breakthrough led to ferrocerium, now widely used in lighters, survival gear, and military applications. At first glance, a ferro rod looks like an ordinary piece of metal, but it's far from it. Unlike traditional flint and steel, which create sparks by shaving off tiny glowing hot iron fragments, ferrocerium produces a much hotter and longer lasting shower of sparks. This comes down to its unique blend of rare earth metals designed to react explosively with oxygen, making fire starting nearly effortless. Ferrocerium is an alloy engineered for one purpose, creating an intense burst of sparks to ignite fire instantly. The key ingredient is cerium, a metal that reacts almost instantly when exposed to air. Imagine slicing an apple and watching it turn brown as it reacts with oxygen. Cerium does something similar, but in a fraction of a second and with far more energy. When a ferro rod is scraped, tiny shavings of cerium are torn away. These microscopic fragments have a huge surface area compared to their volume, allowing oxygen to react with them almost instantly. This rapid oxidation releases an enormous amount of heat exceeding 1500 degrees Celsius, hot enough to ignite tinder with ease. However, pure cerium is too soft and burns away too quickly to be practical. To make ferrocerium more durable, manufacturers blend it with other rare earth metals. Lanthanum acts as a structural stabilizer, reinforcing the alloy so it doesn't wear down too quickly. Neodymium and praseodymium fine-tune the way ferrocerium burns, controlling spark duration and brightness, like a dimmer switch on a light. Iron is another key component. While it might seem like an odd addition, iron helps bind the alloy together and even contributes to heat generation during oxidation. Some ferrocerium variations also contain magnesium, which burns even hotter than cerium, making the sparks even more intense and flammable. The real secret behind ferrocerium's effectiveness lies in how these metals interact with oxygen. Unlike iron, which rusts slowly, cerium and its lanthanide companions react almost instantly, producing continuous high temperature sparks. This is why ferro rods are far superior to traditional flint and steel for fire starting. The metals inside a ferro rod don't just appear out of nowhere. They come from deep underground, extracted from rare earth ores through a complex refining process. The key elements, cerium, lanthanum, neodymium, and praseodymium, are primarily found in monazite and bastnasite deposits, mined in China, the United States, Australia, and parts of Africa. Once extracted, the ores are ground into a fine powder and treated with strong acids, dissolving the metals into a liquid solution. However, at this stage, all the metals are mixed together and must be separated. This is done using solvent extraction and ion exchange, which isolates each element based on subtle differences in their chemistry. Cerium, being the most reactive, is extracted first, followed by lanthanum, neodymium, and praseodymium. With the metals purified, they are melted together in a high temperature furnace to form ferrocerium. At this stage, iron is added, and in some formulations, magnesium is included to enhance spark intensity. The molten alloy is then poured into molds and cooled, forming solid blocks of ferrocerium. To create usable ferro rods, these blocks are extruded or cut into cylindrical shapes. Many are coated or painted to prevent oxidation before use. The final product is a hard yet brittle material, durable enough to withstand thousands of strikes, yet soft enough to be easily scraped, producing the intense, high temperature sparks that make fire starting so effortless. Some fire starters include a block of magnesium alongside the ferro rod. Magnesium burns even hotter, over 3000 degrees Celsius, 5 to 4, 432 degrees Fahrenheit, and can sustain a fire better than ferrocerium sparks alone. Using a magnesium fire starter requires two steps. First, shave off small magnesium flakes and pile them onto your tinder. These silvery curls of metal may look harmless, but once ignited, they burn with an intense white hot flame. Next, 
strike the ferro rod, sending sparks onto the magnesium shavings. The result? An instant flare-up, strong enough to ignite even stubborn or damp tinder. But here's something important to remember. This isn't magic. It still requires good preparation, dry tinder, and practice. If the shavings are too large, they may not catch fire easily. If the tinder is wet, ignition may take longer than expected. Fire making is a skill, not just a tool. If you enjoyed this video into fire starting materials, be sure to subscribe and follow for more episodes. Until then, keep exploring, stay curious, and never stop asking how the world around you really works.